Welcome to our daily devotion. You are here today to hear the Word of God with His message, promises, command, warning, and application for us. Faith is to believe God's Word is the very essence of receiving the promises that He says we can have. As the scripture says in Romans chapter 10 verse 17, Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It gives us knowledge on how faith comes, by taking in God's word. Our word for today is taken in the book of Romans chapter 15 verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Message Many Christians have heard the phrase, trust and obey, but, if pressed, they're better at explaining obedience than trust. Yet the two are deeply intertwined and interrelated. Why? For example, would we obey a God whom we didn't trust? Trust in Him for He has granted us peace that produces hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let nothing lead us to negativity or anything of the enemy. Only think of those that are good and that of which that comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord your God for everything will come to pass according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. What then does it mean to trust God? It's really a matter of jumping in and accepting the truth of scripture that God is our maker and the source of joy and peace. Having true joy and peace means believing that God fills us with those blessings as we submit to him. Promise. Trusting God means more than believing God exists. Trust celebrates the way God directs the affairs of this world, even when things seem out of control. Trusting God leads to a confident hope that he cares for us and that our ultimate security is in his hand. There's no healthy relationship with God without that kind of trust. The Lord will grant us peace when we walk in Him. All those that come in this life should be given glory to the Lord for that is always an opportunity to give glory to Him. No matter what state it is the Lord allowed it to happen in this life because it will only give glory to Him alone and improve this life and make us closer and closer to who we should actually be. Command Trust in the Lord with all our hearts and lean not on our own understanding. In all our ways acknowledge Him and He will make our paths straight. All that we will be doing for the Lord will only give Him glory and will only lead us to the green pastures He has in store for us. If we are with the Lord we have nothing to worry about. Warning. Submitting to God means confessing that we cannot handle life on our own. We need God. Great things will come even greater than we can ever imagine, but if we are for the Lord nothing can ever be greater than what He can do. We have nothing to worry about. No matter how big things are everything will work together for the good for those who are for the Lord. Application trust in him always no matter what we are facing right now for through such a great understanding of the lord our god hope will come and manifest in this life that will lead us to no worrying about any things that comes our way let's pray together heavenly father help us to trust you so implicitly that we can walk confidently and obediently with you in all situations Father, thank you for blessing us with your message of hope and love today. With the Holy Spirit working in our hearts, we shall grow in our faith and ability to face unafraid each new day of our lives. How precious to us are your thoughts, O oh God. Your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you that we can live in your light and walk in your truth. 
May the things that you have revealed in thoughts that we have shared today dwell in our hearts and stir us into action. We ask all this in the precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, and the continues fellowship, power, and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen.